Zach Pegoff here, and welcome back to another lesson video. Today, I will be going over the 16-3 text. So let's jump right into the video. Okay, so as I had stated before, I'm going to be going over the 16-3 text, which is the third and final lesson in chapter 16. That's right, after I finish recording, editing, and uploading this video, along with the 16-3 work together, we will not only be done with chapter 16, but will also be done with part two of the textbook, and we'll be moving on to part three relatively soon. But anyway, let's jump right into the 16-3 text. So in this lesson, we will be learning about how to prepare a post-closing trial balance for a corporation. All right, so to start, we're going to be talking about how to prepare a post-closing trial balance for a corporation. So when we prepare a post-closing trial balance for a corporation, there are multiple steps that we have to follow in order to complete this process. First, we write the heading. Next, we write the titles of the accounts that have balances. After that, we record the balances of the asset accounts. Following that, we record the balances of the contra asset, liability, and capital accounts. Then we write the word totals. Next, we calculate the totals. And finally, we draw a double line rule to indicate that the numbers in the debit and credit columns are both equal. Okay, so the last thing that we're gonna be talking about in this lesson is the accounting cycle for a merchandising business that's organized as a corporation, and this is continued on the last slide. So the accounting cycle for a merchandising business that's organized as a corporation is as follows. First, source documents are checked and then transactions are analyzed. Next, the transactions are recorded in journals. After that, the journal entries are posted to the accounts payable ledger, the accounts receivable ledger, and the general ledger. Following that, the schedules of accounts payable and accounts receivable are prepared from the subsidiary ledgers. Then, a worksheet is prepared from the general ledger. Continuing on to the last slide, the next step is that financial statements are prepared. After that, adjusting and closing entries are journalized from the worksheet. Following that, the adjusting and closing entries are posted to the general ledger. And finally, a post-closing trial balance of the general ledger is prepared. All right, so that is the end 
of the 16-3 text. In the next video, I will be going over the 16-3 work together. Okay, thank you.